Hello and good afternoon all. I got a story about police, Facebook, charity, and children, and how Facebook is so anti-cop they will not help out children. But before we get to that, could you all help me out by hitting the like button and subscribing and sharing this video to get the word out about how scummy Facebook is being today and how their political correctness is now hurting children. Now on to the story. Facebook rejects Florida Police Charity ad for children fundraising. Uh, a pro-police nonprofit organization in South Florida is accusing Facebook of refusing to promote its advertisements for an upcoming fundraiser event intended to benefit the families of officers who died in the line of duty around children in underserved areas of the community. Yeah, they don't care. They just all pop. No, I'm not going to show it. Officer Chris Swenson, president of the Southeast Police Motorcycle Rodeo Committee, told Fox News that Facebook refused to boost a post advertising ticket sales for an upcoming raffle of a Harley Davidson motorcycle. The raffle happens yearly to correspond with the in person motorcycle event due to the bullshit lockdowns, aka pandemic. The nonprofit is now more heavily relying on online ticket sales. This year, Facebook rejected the ad on July 14th, according to a screenshot provided to Fox News. Southeast Police Motorcycle Rodeo Committee later filed a repeal on June on July 20th. The social media giant sent them a message explaining the ad may have been rejected because it mentions politicians or is about sensitive social issues. That could influence public opinion, how people vote, or may impact the outcome of an election or pending legislation. It's a goddamn charity to help kill kids. All you saw was cop, and oh, it must be political. God damn. A personal opinion on politics. I'm not sure uh, through the charity whatsoever. We're not here to alienate someone. We don't care about political views. Winston insisted in a phone interview with Fox News. Me raising money to buy computers and equipment and washers and dryers for the Boys and Girls Club has no emph emphasis on po politics or elections. Facebook told Fox News that AdWords rejected an error, though it did not provide a date for when it was corrected. I don't know if it gets called out and found out, oh shit, we fucked up. This ad was incorrectly flagged as a polit political and taken down for running with a disclaimer. So we have reversed the decision that Facebook spokesperson said in a statement. All enforcement is never perfect since machines and human re reviewers make mistakes, but we're always working to improve. Um, get rid of the damn algorithm and actually have people that can think instead of, oh, bad, no more. Proceeds from the raffles are intended to benefit charities, including cops. See, uh, which stands for Concerns for Police Survivors, which is dedicated to helping families who lost loved ones in the line of duty. The organization assists families with money, education, housing, and additional support. It runs camps for children of officers who died in the line of duty, as well as facilitating mental health services. Uh, it will also be given to the Boys and Girls Club of Broward County. It's a 501c3. And, uh, yeah, this is just bullshit. Uh, I cannot stand Facebook. This will Facebook's just shooting themselves in the foot. They're just becoming so woke that anything deals with cops, no matter what good they are, they, are, they just want to find the evil in cops. So they're not even going to help out children. So what do you guys think? You agree with me that Facebook is just being an asshole? Or do you think they have... They, it was, they did nothing wrong. Please let me know down below. And if you made it this far, could you hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, be good, have fun, stay safe, bye-bye.